Hey everyone, it's Andy again. Never stop riding. Um, just saying, hey, I did a pretty crazy little trip with Rennie not too long ago. Uh, it was fun. Me and Rennie wanted to have a good time. Usually we go out and some pretty hardcore rides. and This time we wanted to do something pretty fun, so we decided to do uh, a big section of Vietnam on Vespas. And not modern day Vespas, but the older Vespas. Upon arrival into Ho Chi Minh City, we went straight to a local Lambretta Vespa shop. The gentleman was from England. He's been to every Vespa rally and Vespa or Lambretta event probably in Europe. At all. He had more memorabilia than I've ever seen. He, he had everything and he had tons of Vespas, Lambrettas sitting around, old vintage ones, collectibles, and he took immaculate care of them and they were beautiful. Um, just walking through it was just awesome. You know, I've been to mods and minis and uh, all the different things like in the Ace Cafe in London, I've been to Soho Scooter Club, I know some of those folks where I, I got the opportunity to meet them one time. And so it was cool, you know, it was, it was really, really cool. But he went ahead and, in, and with good nature, he let us uh, borrow two of his scooters to take on this trip. So we really appreciate that. There it goes. Ready to go. Let's go in the mountains. <laughs> Let's go in the mountains of Vietnam. <laughs> in Southeast Asia, there's a whole culture, a whole subculture around the Vespa, just like in the United States, in Europe, um, where have you, anywhere in the world. Most people have some kind of Vespa culture, and I love the Vespa culture. I think it's very cool. I think it's probably one of the, the coolest things there is. Quadrophenia is one of my favorite movies, the whole mod scene everything it's just it's just a hip hip group of people riding out of Ho Chi Minh City and getting on the road you know it was great and just traffic normal traffic nothing nothing too crazy but just all the, the, the crazy Vespas running around and vehicles running around carrying way more stuff than their little tiny tires should ever carry it never gets old, man. Or it's just you look and you just laugh. You're like that is just hilarious. But I did have to be honest with Rennie. When we were leaving, I looked at Rennie in the face and I'm like, Rennie, are you sure these things are gonna be alright to take through a long trip through Vietnam or anywhere? for that matter. Oh, no, no, Andy, I have many of these v v Vespas. They're very good, very reliable. They'll get everywhere. All right, all right. I, I'm used to my, my reliable my reliable bikes, and these things are they're, they're old, and they've seen days, and as everyone knows, they, they do have a tendency to have issues from time to time. Anyway, make a long story short, we got about 25 feet outside the place, and then the damn thing broke down. <laughs> And that was not, it was very funny. I mean, we laughed. Rennie didn't laugh because he was frustrated, but he fixed it. So we were on our way again, and 100 yards later, we were calling the shop to come and fix the, the Vespa again. So it was beginning to look like we were going to spend our whole time fixing this Vespa and never get off the street that we left from. But the Vespa, the, me the mechanic from the shop came over, Spent a good 30, 40 minutes on the bike, and he got it all taken care of, and off we went, and we, we, we took off. But I will say this, we had issues. I hadn't ever really ridden a Vespa before, so the whole concept of shifting on the on the handlebar and dealing with all of this was quite quite daunting. I mean, I have to be honest, it was the first time in my life I had ever done it, so it was just like stalling out, having issues here and there. I mean, I'm not going to be racing these things or anything anytime soon. 
but it, it was a little frustrating, but once I got the hang of it, I'd say within the first 20, 25 minutes, we were off and going. And it was funny, man. It was the funniest laughing thing I think I've ever done. To look over and see Rennie's big, long, lanky body on this little, tiny Vespa scooter and with his big grin on his face and me just laughing ear to ear. It, it was fun, man, and I highly recommend if you just want to laugh and have a fun time, this, you just go rent a Vespa and go ride in Vietnam because you're going to laugh the entire time you're going. I can't quit smiling. It's just funny. It's funny. It's goofy. It's fun. I'm in Vietnam. I can't believe I'm here doing this. It's pretty fun, yeah? Definitely never done it before in my life. But we must have been quite the scene, you know. Here I was riding along all over the place in my little U.S. military makeshift uh, helmet with my military goggles on and all this gear packed on our bikes and iPods on, rocking out as we can only go like 25, 30 miles an hour up these hills and just cruising along, man, and it was fun. We spent the night in this little town and rode around, tried to get food, but everything closes up so early in these, 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 these regions that I don't know if we ate that night, but we, we left in the morning and we ended up getting some crazy food at this little little stand and uh, they, they had all the little like uh, geckos and snakes and stuff in these jars and it's like the herbal medicine, the whiskey, whatever. I didn't do any drinking of it or eating of it at this point. I, I probably will one day, but on that specific trip, I had we had some pretty tight deadlines, and getting sick would would really interfere with it. So we we let it be, but it was interesting to see. 